race car is off. Michael Self is going to win at Daytona. Win number two, and it's at the biggest stock car race in the Arca Series. Look at the excitement down on pit road. <laughs> Kevin Reed, a winner again at Daytona. Started way back in the field and really has done a nice job. And I got contention quickly, as did Rodney Herbst for a portion. Michael Self currently running in fourth, the Daytona winner. I believe he's going to come up a little bit short here tonight uh, unless we have a caution, which could certainly change the complexion of the race. Uh, in the fifth spot right behind him is the number 20 machine of Chandler Smith, the 15-year-old pole sitter here today. Update quickly on the car that was running 10th when we went to our last commercial break. As soon as we did that, Thad Moffa came down pit road. Lengthy pit stop for that four team. The Empire Racing team trying to get back on track. He is back on track, but now back in 14th spot. White flag in the air for Zane Smith. We'll see if he can win. Another first time winner in Narco Racing Series is two turns away here at Nashville. Making it look easy here in the Music City. The California kid is going to rock here in Nashville. Zane Smith wins his first Arca Racing Series presented by Menards Race and his crew is going to celebrate on pit road. Anything left. He's been punishing that race car, punishing those tires, trying to work to the inside of Christian Eckes. Eckes has been just basically riding his line. Now three laps to go. Can Chandler get there again? Well, lap traffic will certainly help him, Bob. There's three or four cars just ahead. One's a bit off the pace. Will, will Kimmel did come down pit road in that number 69 machine, so he has the experience, no doubt will be in the veteran. He's the next car that the leader will encounter in that black and red fast diesel fuel systems forward. Perhaps he'll give way as Natalie Decker just did. All slower cars were told in the driver's meeting this morning to pull to the inside and not hinder the performance of the lead lap race cars, especially when you're battling for the lead. And right now, there's Eckes and Chandler Smith. The white flag is in the air, Jim. To turn one, this is Smith's best chance. Now he goes down oh, to no. the wall. Chandler Smith hard into the wall. Trouble for the 15-year-old battling for the win here at Salem today. Christian Eckes. For the second consecutive race, we'll have a first-time race winner here in the Arca Racing Series. Eckes from New York takes the win. Lynn in row three. Don't forget about nine-time Super Speedway winner Bobby Gerhardt back there in the five car. Watch it, Michael Self stay lay back a little bit. Worried that the 77 is going to run out of gas, but he doesn't. He goes. He's on the he's on the button. Overtime again. Green again at Talladega and one to go. As they have been all race, they remain side by side, lined up two by two, banging up front, top four, all glued together. Smith and Graf in the front row. Teammates lined up on the inside, Zane Smith and Creed. That's Creed in the white car. On the bottom in row two, Self, the Daytona winner in the green and white Sinclair car up top. Oh, they're banging together. The front two check out just a bit. And Smith and Graf are still glued together. Does Graf have enough fuel to get there? He needs a big push. Creed looking to find space on the bottom below the yellow line. Gets back up in line. Graf still hanging on. Williams comes to the bottom. Top two to the line. Even. Photo finish. Zane Smith has won by inches at Talladega. One of the closest finishes you'll ever see in motorsport. Zane Smith by two hundredths of a second has won in Arca at Talladega. Arca Racing Series. It would be his best career finish in Arca for sure and his second top five of the season. Zane Smith though, now with four laps to go, looking for his third win of the season in five races. And hammering home the exclamation point of these two drivers, they will likely be the top two in points heading into this race this Thursday at Charlotte Motor Speedway. Zane came 70 points out of the lead into this one and second in points. Purdy was just 55 points behind Riley Herbst, who's had all sorts of issues. So I see those guys having huge point swing days overall. Zane Smith, so talented. A couple of years ago, won five super late model races around the southeast. Then he went on a year and a half winless streak, a big old goose egg in the win column, and it bothered him. He said he lost his confidence. Then he won 
at Nashville. Yep. And he said, the pep is back in my step. And you can see it. Zane Smith, the teenager, a rising talent with one lap to go here at Toledo. Three more clean corners, uh, four or five cars ahead of him. We'll see if Zane wants to attack that or just kind of lay back and let it come to him. Purdy's looking for an advantage. He's closing quickly here in the final few moments. Coming off of turn number four, it'll be a hat trick of wins for Zane Smith early in the year in the Arca Racing Series presented by Menards. Look on the inside and get the lead back. And that's where he sits right now out front. Riley Herbst running second, less than a half second behind in a great view. That's what Herbst sees. That's the win right out in front of him. See him try to stay right in his tire tracks. Looks like he gained on him through the center of that corner that time. Remember, Riley started back in the 18th position, Vince. Two to go. Won at Pocono last year. Hasn't gotten to victory lane this season. Best finish was sixth at Salem. And he is right there on the back end of the 12 of Brandon Jones. Riley told me if you miss your mark here, it hurts the whole lap. White flag, one to go, Vince. One and a half miles remaining. Brandon Jones out front. Riley Herbst close behind in second. Can Herbst get close enough to make a move on the final lap? That was a good corner, good exit. See a little bit of a wiggle by Brandon Jones. Jones looking at that mirror, keeping an eye on Herbst. Into turn three. Herbst pulls up now, trying to take a look on the outside. Around the lap traffic. Here comes Brandon Jones to the line. He's going to win his first race here in 2018. What a job, I tell you. Herbst gave him all he wanted, though, Vince. Burton. He's won in Arca. He did that last year on the short track at Toledo. Our k and champion from 2017, k and East. Five wins on the way to that championship. And by rule, there are only a couple of tracks that he's allowed to race at 17. And this is one of them. And what a debut on the super speedway. This might be for Harrison Burton. We focused on him in the Scott rookie spotlight. One of three 17-year-olds as Herbst and Graf continue to battle. That's a battle for the fifth position. Herbst has it. White flag now for Harrison Burton. Under two and a half miles to go. And the gap continues to increase. More than four seconds. He can't breathe easy yet. Remember now, if, if the caution were to come out now, we would have a overtime situation. There's no line. They need to see the checker. Half a lap to go. Look into the tunnel turn. On Wednesday, Harrison Burton needed to be approved to run this racetrack. His first test at this super speedway. Pass with flying colors. Quick. I think he passed this race test too, didn't he? Sure looks that way. He hung in most of the way, worked his way to the front, and we got there. Nobody could catch him. 17-year-old Harrison Burton has won his Super Speedway debut in Arca. Burton dominates the finishing stretch and wins at Pocono. Jade Huffman goes for two in a row. And MDM continues. Great battle for oh, third here. Oh, no. Hold on. Hold on, Gustine. Dean and Quinn Half get together. It opens up the door for the 52 of Will Rogers. Three wide. Half got loose off a of turn four, lost two spots, trying to gain it back all the way into turn one, and Gustine went deeper than he did. That made this happen. Gustine now breaking away from a three wide battle for this position. Wow, what action here late. Gus Dean now up to fourth. Quinn Half with some trouble there, and there you can see those cars wiggling all over the place. Dean comes up the racetrack just a little bit. The two made contact. Quinn Half loses that momentum, and here comes Will Rogers. Will Rogers from behind, about three, four spots behind, able to pull up equal to Gus Dean, but Dean able to keep that fourth spot moving by Quinn Half in the 98. And Rogers not able to use the entire racetrack to get that sweeping entry into the corner. That 
that cost him some track time. But man, that young man has been impressive today in that Dry Dean Ford racing within the top five, not even knowing until Wednesday if he's going to come race here at Michigan. Right now, Sheldon Creed hoping for no cautions. Riley Herbst in second would certainly love to see one more yellow flag to have a shot at Sheldon Creed. Creed has been so consistent this year. The one blemish on the season so far, difficulty on the short track of Toledo, Ohio. All the other finishes, second, third, and one fourth place finish in seven races. The other six races, he's done everything but win. That hopefully will end today. He's led a lot of laps. He led the most laps at Daytona, but didn't win. He led over half the races in the last two mile and a half at the end of last year. Didn't win those races either. It is not over. We have the white flag and two more miles for Sheldon Creed. And this is when all race car drivers will tell you They'll hear every knock inside that race car. Sheldon Creed looking for win number one here in Arca. He's got a half a lap to go now to get it done. At a point he may be able to coast with this advantage he's built. He's maintained the speed. He told me all season long, I've got to learn how to finish these races. The Alpine California youngster is about to do it here at Michigan. He can cruise to the finish line now. Out of California, Sheldon Creed at his favorite racetrack takes his first victory in the Arca Racing Series presented by Menards. Arca Racing Series is hard to come by. Van 3D Motorsports has three victories since 2011 here at this racetrack, including one by Alex Bowman, who's racing on Sundays in the NASCAR Cup Series. This is exactly where Chandler Smith wants to be. He's been noticed by Toyota racing development as a driver they want a place in places he can run well venture new motorsports is a development team with toyota ties so is mdm motorsports this is a great opportunity to showcase on live map tv what this young man can do with one lap to go bob one lap to go for chandler smith the driver from georgia in his fourth start in the arca racing series presented by bernard's looks like he's going to go to victory lane it's been smooth sailing for the last half of this race just 15 years old and now a winner in the arca racing series is chandler smith he gets it oh restarting in arca from chicagoland and michael self rockets down to the bottom to the front sheldon creed coming with him zane smith taking a look gill and still on the high side battling for second michael self actually made the pass before they got to the start finish line but Ryle Herbst really spun the tires badly, so Arca may look at that and say, hey, he had no choice. And Riley Herbst has fallen all the way back to fifth. Gillen is still coming. Creed is right there on his bumper. Gets him a little bit loose. Creed going low for second. Smith splits them three wide. Gillen. All the while, Self continues to gap the advantage. Those two tires are no match for the four tires. Inside, Ooh. the final few turns, Herbst banging with Roboff. Herbst is doing all he can do to minimize the loss. Final couple of turns, does anyone have anything for Michael Self? Sheldon Creed is going to try it, down below the line, to the line. Michael Self has won in Chicagoland for the second time in 2018, and they're crashing behind him. Decker and Graf. Will roll past the line. Do something right. He's got about the same gap here. For some reason, somehow, Sheldon Creed's been able to overcome what it was a deficit. He's built that lead back up just slightly. And here's what I'm thinking. I'm thinking that Chandler Smith went to the bottom, searched for another groove, because he knows that he can't run the same groove that Sheldon Creed has. Otherwise, he would have no shot at getting by. So why not change the line, change the groove, try something different? But I think it might have been him. 2016 winner Chase Briscoe used the outside line and passed everybody and walked away with this one. Creed has led since lap 111, but his handling is going away quickly in the lead car, that number 28 United Rentals Toyota. He can only run the outside. You can see a little bit more of a wiggle right now, honestly, out of Chandler Smith. We're looking for anything in terms of what's going on. White flag is in the air. Well, Smith knows where Creed has to run in these lap cars. will play to the advantage of a race leader here through turn two. Can Chandler Smith get to his back bumper? I don't think he's going to do it. I think those slower cars are too far out in front. And a little wiggle there by Sheldon Creed. He goes way up the racetrack. Here comes Chandler Smith. Can he get to him? No, he's not going to do it. The hat trick of wins in 2018 for Sheldon Creed.
Oh, you see some bumping and banging even before the third turn for this restart. What Gus Dean needs to do, honestly, is bring the 77 a little bit high coming off of turn number four. We'll see if he can do it. Look at the 77 trying to inch out ahead, but he does not dictate the start. And a wiggle by the 32 on that speedy drive. Gus did not get a good run. A lot of bumping and banging. Up the hill goes the 77. Here comes Eckes. Grab to back to fourth. Here comes Riley Herbst on the inside. Gustine all alone for the lead. Two laps to go. What will happen here? This is exactly what Gustine wants to see. He wants to see Eckes and Herbst go at it. And here comes Grab to the inside. For all it's worth, he dive bombed to the bottom of three. He knew he was not going to use his entire brake pedal to make the corner. He got under Herbst and made the pass. Can Eckes catch him? I don't think it's going to happen. One lap down earlier in this race, the driver from South Carolina, Gustine, wins here at Elko. A slow pace for Christian Eckes. It paid off for him last restart. Let's find out what happens this time. How about that? The 17-year-old with a nice, smooth restart. CV's there. But this may be exactly what the doctor ordered for Christian Eckes, because here comes Sheldon Creed trying to get into second on the inside. Just a little bit of nudge on corner exit with the cars, as free as it can be. The 20 car of CV has to fall in line and give up the spot to the 28 of Creed. Sheldon Creed now has one lap to go to catch and try to pass Christian Eckes to get the win. He's come close here. The last two years, has he run out of time? He'll have to make a move going to turn three if he has any chance, and Eckes has a big enough gap off the exit of two here. Creed is catching him, but will it be enough time? They head into turn number three. Creed sailing in there for all it's worth. I tell you, there's not much breaking going on there. He ain't going to do it. He's not going to do it unless Christian Eckes slips up. It doesn't look like he's going to. He never thought he was a dirt racer. And today, Christian Eckes wins on the dirt here at Springfield. Picking up the pace there in turns three and four. Denise Single with the green flag in hand. It is out, and we are racing for a one-lap dash. And look, here we go, scrambling three wide down into turns one and two. There's some contact there. Hosevar is in to Joe Graff Jr. That's going to give Zane Smith the lead down the backstretch. Let's see what happens here as they go off into turns three and four. Look at Joe Graff to the inside. He's going to move Zane Smith out of the way. Side by side on a turn four. Who's it going to be? Wow. Joe Graff Jr. is your winner here at Berlin. Oh. oh, my goodness. What a finish. Because of Sheldon Kareem. One idiot. One idiot. That was so stupid. That was stupid what Creed did. He knows where he was going. He knows where he was going. Oh my god. White flag is out. If something happens, caution comes out, we'll have a restart. That was so stupid for what Sheldon Creed did. Decker crashes three times. Tries to get in the top 10. Tries to finish in the top 10. But no, Sheldon Creed just ruined her chances getting in the top 10. That was just so stupid. That was so stupid. Logan CV wins. We're hearing also that Natalie, the 25, has damage. You see the smoke from the right side of the 33. You see the damage on the Glasson car. Both tires have made contact with the wall. Well, they were running fifth and sixth. Glasson was in fifth, Decker was in sixth, and now we see Robaw make contact with Leilani Munter, but they'll stay in it. Some sort of an issue for Robaw. He has a flat tire, it looks like. It's still Creed up front by over a second on Burton, then Self, Purdy, and Herbst, the top five. Robaw off the pace as Herring moves by him. And here's the leader with two to go, Sheldon Creed. It's only fitting that this 28 of Sheldon Creed goes to victory lane here in the finale of 2018. I think this young man is going to be a superstar. They call him the showstopper. He's won in just about everything. He won off-road super truck championships at 16 and 17 years old in Robbie Gordon's stadium super truck series. What a job Jeff Stankiewicz, his crew chief there, left side of your screen has done this year. Inside the final lap. For Sheldon Creed, 
final few turns. He wrapped up the championship with his first laps in practice as Michael Self has a problem. He'll try to limp his way to the finish. Meanwhile, Sheldon Creed is going to cap off a championship with his fourth win of the season. Coming to the checkered flag, Sheldon Creed has a magical 2018 season. He's the champion and wins the season finale in Kansas. And now they can celebrate in style.